In my previous tutorial, I explained how you can set up your SSH network using PuTTY software so that you can wirelessly access your Raspberry Pi using your laptop, keyboard and mouse. I recommend you should watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. In today's episode, we will cover number one, how to create a folder. Number two, how to display files and folders. Number three, how to create a file inside a specific folder. Number four, how to write a basic Hello World program in Python. Number five, how to run a program. Number six, how to edit a program and so on. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this tutorial are number one, Raspberry Pi. The one I'll be using is Raspberry Pi 3B+. You can also use other versions of Raspberry Pi. Number two, five volt two amps adapter, or you can also use a power bank. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. First of all, power up your Raspberry Pi. There is no need for a keyboard and mouse, as we will be using our laptop's keyboard and mouse. As you can see, currently no input and output devices are connected with the GPIO pins. As in today's episode, we are not using any sensors. Our hardware is ready. Now let's open the PuTTY software. Enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know about the IP address, watch my previous tutorial. Then click open. Enter the login name as spy and the password is raspberry. As you can see we are logged in. First of all let's start with the ls command which is one of the most frequently used commands. This command is used to display the folders and files. Another frequently used command is the clear command which is used to clear the screen. Now let's display the folders and files. Let's say we want to open the test folder. We simply write cd test and press enter. Using the ls command we can check what is inside this folder. As you can see this folder has two files. foo.txt and temp.py to exit this folder, we simply write cd and press enter. Another most frequently used command is the mkdir command, which is used for creating a folder. Write mkdir followed by the folder name, let's say YouTube, and press enter. Write the ls command to check if the folder is uh, created or not. As you can see it's created. Now to open this folder simply write cd youtube and press enter. Now if we use the ls command you can see it has no files and folders. Let's create our first python program file with extension.py. Simply write a sudo nano first.py. You can select any name but make sure to add the extension.py. Press enter. An editor will open. This is where you can write your program. Let's write a very basic hello world program. Unlike Arduino programming, we don't need any semicolon at the end. Press Ctrl or on your keyboard to save this file. And simply press Enter as we have already created a file. Now press the Ctrl plus X to exit the editor. Now if we write the ls, you can see the YouTube folder has a one file first.py. To run this program, simply type python first.py and enter. You can see the hello world. Now let's say you want to edit this program. 
write nano first dot by and enter. As you can see, file first dot by is unwritable. Press Ctrl X to exit. Now write sudo nano first dot by and enter. Press Y. Now write anything you want to print. Press Ctrl O to save the file and then at the end press Ctrl X to exit the editor. Write Python first dot by to run this program. Now let's say we have two files and we want to delete one file. For this we have a command rm. Simply write sudo rm then file name and press enter. As you can see the file is deleted. In my upcoming tutorial I will show you how to control an LED and how to use a for loop and how to use delays. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.